For those of you who don't know, we're playing the Walking Dead Telltale series. Season one finale starts now. My lord, all I ask you humbly is play season two as well. No, I'm going to keep playing more of the... I'm going to play more of the Telltale series. It's been a fire banger one. Season one, episode five. I've been bit. You'll see the previously on Walking Dead right now. We have to find Clem previously and we have to save Clem. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. I think we should look for your parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You All I gotta say is this Walking Dead playthrough is unique to anything we I've gotta seen. Go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Smoking on that band pack, oh. dude. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? I do want to see like the Ben only, the Ben only runners. Like I want to know what happened to them. I'm bit. Clementine is gone. The pedophile jigsaw guy stole her. And I do have a... Yeah, Ben had like six kills. Like He is so OP. I let Ben go after he Bernie, demanded I let him get go. Get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. But it's not Vernon as we know. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Holy. Who is this? It's a pedophile. Not that's what you're thinking. A pedophile. You really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. Whimsical pedophile ass. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't a kidnapping. Then what is it? A rescue. I don't believe him. <laughs> you better not fucking hurt her. I swear. I've been watching you for years. This is your best content. Thank you. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. Bro, I'm bit too. I'm so cooked. This like genuinely hurt my soul. What happened here to me? How's that feeling? Fine. Don't worry about it. It wasn't a full chomp. No, it wasn't. We don't have much time. Bro, what do you mean? It's Jover. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. I can't believe Chat convinced me that it was Ben that, like, what this I did to Ben is the reason why. What I did to Ben is the reason why I got bit. Nothing that was fucked here. up. Damn. I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. Like, as though, as though I'd be able to fucking get away without being bit if I hadn't Any done trouble? that to Ben. There's thousands of dead filling the sewers and God only knows how many up top. So, you know. Maybe there's a hole in here. Hamas tunnels. Why aren't there any Hamas tunnels in this fucking hospital? We got to the one hospital where there's no Hamas tunnels, bro. This shit sucks. Think about that. I think it's some sort of spreading device. Grosses me out just looking at it. Think about how sick it would be. It's like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Just take it, bro. You never know. You might use it. Fuck. See, if Hamas was here, we'd be able to get the fuck out of here with ease with the... With the Hamas tunnels that we got. Hey, I think I found a way out. Bro, ain't no fucking way I'm gonna be able to get the elevator open. Uh, rib spreader being used here. I can't get my hands in between the doors. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Damn, that's so easy. That rip spreader is powerful, bro. How is that even possible? 
Well, that's not a big enough hole for anybody to get through, in my opinion. Wait, what the hell's going on? Uh-oh. Am I turning into a zombo? I'm turning. I'm turning. I'm turning. I'm turning. I'm turning. Oh my god, I'm turning into a zombo. I would have chopped the hand off. Okay. This has to be done. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. I'm awake! Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten! So? This about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. By chopping his arm off. Do we know it works? We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What I think dies? it would have been better if we chopped it then off the rest instantaneously. Of us go out to and get the hell out of Savannah. Jesus. What are you guys talking about? We thought if we took off the bitten arm, you'd have a shot. I know it's drastic. You think? But what if it works? It's too it late. Be the only way. It's too late, and what I would most think? likely die from the blood loss. No, we leave it. Are you sure? Yeah, I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem. I'm gonna be happy to have them both. But you're gonna die. Yeah, but not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. Lee? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? Coward? I'm gonna kill myself at the end, Chatters. The fuck do you mean, coward? I'd rather fucking suicide bomb the, the zombos and save Clementine and kill myself. Bro, who's trying to spread the ribs this fucking hard? You know what I mean? I would have chopped it off on sight, not this late right. into the game. Up we go. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. Sounds good. Like I think chopping it off early on would have been uh, understandable, but at this stage, it's like it's too much of a risk. I'd rather have both arms and conduct my operations. Nice and quiet, everybody. And then kill myself at the end. There's some light up there. Good. Gotta get my ass off this ladder. Uh oh. Am I gonna ah! fucking uh oh? Am I gonna get lightheaded again and fall? Cause then that would suck. Oh, what's happening? I got booty cheeks up in my face. <gasps> Watch out! Damn it. That was fucking close. Everything okay up there? Oh, just fucking peachy. Good thing I said watch out. That really saved everybody. Uh-oh. I'm getting lightheaded. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh! Lee! Bruh. Lee! Oh, God. Bruh. Are you alive? Get up! Bruh. 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 Do I have the core? Do I have the core strength to be able to fucking prop myself back up? You have to pull yourself up. Jesus. Gotta get up. Uh-oh. God damn, he's got core. He's got core strength. He's demonstrated great core strength here. Good job. Almost as if you should have cut the arm off. Yeah, bro. One arm, this would be way better. You're right. I would definitely be able to get out of this one with one arm. What the hell is this? Oh, I guess that's not a window. It's just like straight open. I thought it was a window. It looked like a window with the with the effect. 
is the first time I see someone not cut their arm. Yeah, because those people think that there's hope. I've given up. I'm being strategic. Many people probably Remember cut their Savannah arms off thinking empty. that they'll save themselves. Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Maybe we can wait for an opening. We could be waiting a long time. Still, Lee's right and that we gotta pick our time and go. Anybody know how far and in what direction the mansion is? We probably ought to start there. It's between us and River Street, so we can stop if we have to. Retrace our steps, maybe. And they get going towards the hotel where Clem's parents were staying. Okay. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? I, uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. Just lost my footing, that's all. You gotta let us know if you start feeling funny, you know? I Bro, know. I'm not gonna fucking turn it's like just that. Dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. I'm not gonna turn without you figuring you out that be. I've turned, bro. Yeah. Chill. Good as I can be. Crazy. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? I mean, I lied. I didn't just lose my footing. Uh, it was definitely the get our zomber virus, but still. Bro, I'm worried about Kennel, dude. Kennel is looking at me like he wants to throw the salt lake in my head now. Some poor bastard took a spill. Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. What the hell does that even mean, brother? You're his duck? No, he's gonna treat me like fucking Larry, bro. He's gonna... He's gonna get racially motivated that with looks it. looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. Penny and Lee are besties? Yeah, down. but... Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. See anything? Nah, I'm just, uh... I was taking a minute, actually. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't. What's going on? That's just... everything. Fuck, man. <laughs> you know. I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. Wait, what do you I mean? I killed him. I one-tapped him, bro. Right now. And I can't imagine Cat and Duck and all this mess. Can't. No. No, I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. How many of you think are wandering around underneath us right now? In the hospital? Thousands. I mean, who knows? It was full of dead before, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Can you almost left Lee die many occasions? I know. Dust. Kennel is not man, a good ally, knows? bro. Straight up. Straight up. Honestly. Any thoughts about anything else? Nah. I'm They're right. gay. I wish. Just needed to take a second. I'll keep an eye out over here. Sorry. There is a lot of sexual tension, though. Now that I killed his wife. Or, I mean, I didn't. She killed herself, but I didn't do anything to stop her. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I've given up on the... I, I have given up on the sexo run. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, the sexo run is over. The sexo run was over That's after the, the double sexo. the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. That was my turning point, honestly, when Anything I was like, yeah, here? I can't be fucking out here. Honestly, my vision isn't great. I think it's allergies or all that shit those walkers are kicking up. Allergies. Shit. People used to get those. I know, right? You never see anybody in an end-of-the-world story with hay fever. It's not the time to get wistful. I know. It's this deal with Clem. It's everything. It's put this rage inside me like I can't even say. I used to get allergies too and just... Fuck. Who was that guy? Someone with priorities? 
Yeah, bro. Guess what? That's how we know allergies are fake, big dog. Okay? Ain't nobody's got allergies in the fucking end times. You want to know why? Ain't nobody's talking about like, oh, sorry, I have a gluten allergy. You know what I mean? Oh, my bad. Like, I can't be having this bread because I have a gluten allergy. Guess what, dude? No celiac disease at the end times. Okay? That's how you know they're fake, brother. People are just making it up. Big Pharma made it up. People are doing it for attention. The mansion's that way. Yeah. If we can use that bell tower to bring them to that side of the hospital, it won't be an easy trip back toward River Street, but it wouldn't be impossible. I'm with you. Just have to get over there. I was thinking you and Omid wouldn't come with me. We look out for each other, but we sure as hell weren't going to let you go alone. Not with that time bomb chewed into your wrist. You two have been solid since day one. What's this? Day three? Four? Well, I appreciate it. It does feel like a lot more time has passed than fucking three days or four days, honestly. Especially since we met him. My goat. Goat what's mid. What's up over here? Bell tower. That's what's up. Huh. Yeah. That could help. Oh, mid probably would be down for the sex zone. With the bell tower on this side of the hospital and the mansion over there. Uh, that might be our way off this rooftop. I can make it to that bell tower. Turns out the I one I was going to sex it was Omid all along. Hospital. Short King. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Short King fling, baby. Just for a few minutes. All right, all right, enough, enough. Come on. No way. It's higher than this roof for starters. Oh, my God. I need to fucking... Okay, dude. Here, get the goddamn ladder. Get the gosh darn extension ladder. Put that shit on there. Let's freaking go, baby. What cologne you think Omid wears? The worst one. The most aggro one, 100 P. He's Persian, bro. Come on. I'm sorry, but our people are. The bells. We're bad with that. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. See, if we have he's to the decide goat. who takes a risk like this. It should be the guy who's got the least to lose. Fucking Lee, come on, What's bro. The Stop worst taking that can L. Happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Bro. Let Goat Mead do some of the work. You know what I mean? Hurry. That is an incredibly unsafe yeah. way to use the ladder. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize OSHA was in the fucking room, dude. Shit, my bad, bro. Is this an OSHA violation? Very unsafe, I know. Oh, shit. Go fast, go fast, ah! go fast. Oh my god, am I stuck on the bell tower? That's crazy. Fuck? Well, it's Holy higher. Shit, I can jump man. down. Are you I can okay? jump back. Yeah. I'm fine. Try to find another way out of there? It's locked. Shit. That's crazy. The exit in here's locked. That sucks. By the way, Omid 100 P would have died. He ain't got the agility. He ain't got the endurance. Remember, he literally, that boy literally fell off the train and took the fattest of L's, like almost died to a leg injury. He is not making it off that bell tower down to the hospital, okay? No shot. They're coming this way. And his Tons wife. Tons of them. Jesus. He saved his wife first. Now get yeah, back here. Pregante. Yes, chat. I saved his wife first because she is Pregante. She's pregnant. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. Yeah, you can no make shit. it. It ain't that far. Oh, no. It's not that far. Just a little hop. Kenny's going to be on the other side, bro. She ain't no Molly. Let me tell you, Molly has saved my ass. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Kenny didn't even try, bro. Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. Kenny didn't even try. They just watched me. They just watched me fling my body, bro. 
These guys are so bad. I'm going to eat them. Okay. I'm going to save Clam and I'm going to eat the rest. Okay. That's it. I've made up my fucking mind, bro. No shot. Did more than you did for Ben? What? Dude, I've done so much for Ben. I almost picked him up. I tried to pick Holy him up. Yeah. Oh, no. The boat got stolen. What the fuck? The least shocking turn of events. Bro, you left it open, Kenny. Kenny, you fucking left it open with the lights on, bitch. The fuck did you think was going to happen? I'm sorry. What did you think would occur? You left it open. I called it out, too, at the time. Come on. Just come the fuck on. Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck. How could this happen? It's the guy on the radio. The one that's got Clem. They're gone. Holy shit. They're gone. Hey, guys. No. It wasn't the guy on the radio. It was Vernon. What? No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions, uh, contradict your character as- Wow. That's ableist, bro. Chill. Can he hit the old slur, dude? Patient. But, yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! We would've done the same. Says the guy who wouldn't take a box of food from an abandoned car. Things have changed. He says he feels bad about leaving Clementine behind. But the boat was an opportunity they couldn't pass up. Vernon probably planned this out. That's pretty crazy. Eyes on that boat. They fuck. Bro, living under a hospital in secrecy, uh, stealing boats from children. Are they fucking Hamas or what, dude? This is the real Vernon was the real Hamas all go along. Over the fence and let us into the backyard. We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah, this is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Bro, if without me, they're cooked, by the way. They're going to be fighting, actually. Without me, they are so cooked. They, I give them, like, ten minutes. What do we do now without a boat? Well, I, I know died. you two are just going to look out for number one. And number two. You know, yourselves. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Yeah. We got to get out into some... Yeah, Kenny hates that. Kenny's like, no boats, I'm out. Kenny's like, I don't even give a fuck. Zombie apocalypse, no zombie apocalypse. Like, I just don't care. You know what I mean? Open spaces. You know that's what I'm for. This is bullshit. With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! Bro, close the fucking doors. What is happening? I chimed in with the haven't you people ever heard be of? Able to get into the backyard, right? Closing the goddamn Maybe door. Not. We can secure this place. Krista. Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny. Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. We'll do. Fuck, I should have What is it? Front doors! How is he fucking capable of even getting this thing in? Like, Lee, I. Lee! Help! Cut their I fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Bro, there ain't no knife in here. What are you talking about? There was never a knife in here. What? There's a casually Take a knife in here arms now? Off. <laughs> When, when was now there what? a knife in there? Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. How is this possible, bro? Sturdy my ass. Get upstairs. Go. Why are there? Oh wait, that was Brenda or Bree or whatever. 
Wasn't that literally Bree? Guys, help me with this! That was fucking Bree, wasn't it? Yeah. I, yeah, Little Miss Cancer, bro. Little Miss Cancer. Everyone get to the end of the hallway. This will slow him down. We get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. This is craziness. We can't let ourselves get trapped. Scan as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. But How many Linda. bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Oh, nice. Four. Y'all know where to aim. Get ready. Are they coming up here or what? What the fuck's going on? Oh my god, what are they aiming at, bro? They suck dick. I'm out, bro. I'm out. I'm out. I don't have any bullets left. I'm out. Me too. Fuck. Where do we go? There's no goddamn opening. No, I carried. Up. Go! What the fuck was that red shit up there? Oh, I dropped the gun. No, they're gatted up now. The zombos got the gat. Son, we are that cooked. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay, let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Where we're not going out through this window. No latches, no- Someone just said Ben grabs the gun if you saved him. Honestly, if I had saved Ben there and he grabbed the gun, I would hope he would kill me, okay? Because I would rather fucking die than spend another moment with Ben, who probably would have caused the zombie apocalypse a, a second time. He probably would have been yelling loudly to get the zombies to follow us into the house. And 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third, Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to just. Bro, I'm weak, dude. I'm weak as hell. Worst kidnapper of all time. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He has a how worst kidnapper of all time, bro. How do you let how do you let a six-year-old consistently grab control of the fucking walkie-talkie? Mr. Jigsaw over here, absolutely just only good at kidnapping a six-year-old, so bad at continuously kidnapping the six-year-old. Moved her yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. We have to go now. Like right this goddamn minute. Where, Lee? Come on. We're trapped. How long you think we have? Or the window right there. Just I, jump out of it. I don't know. We should have cut it off. At least then there would have been a chance. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. It was too I late think back we need then, to bro. have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not going to do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't good. It's so funny. Dude, I didn't I tell you? Kenny is like, Kenny's got a taste of blood, dude. K 
Kenny is literally looking to Laryl to me so fucking fast. He doesn't even give a shit if I turn or not. He just wants the thrill of murder. I'm telling you, this is no good. What happened? How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! Wait, what? Ah! What? You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look. What? It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. Bro, we are breaking out of here by this breaking the wall. Shit. Is this really possible? That's awesome. Kenny, I thought you were a handyman. I thought you would have known how to bust up a drywall or bust up walls like this. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Wow. Well, Sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. Damn. I wasn't intending on throwing it at him, was I? Why am I apologizing? I just found an exit, bro. Kenny's the one who almost cooked me. Got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. He probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us, which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I was. The fucking thing, it, it happened so fast. You ever almost hit someone in a crosswalk? Almost? His license was suspended. Twice. Omid is my short king. He is so sick. Look at him. He's always got a smile on his face, dude. Smiling through it all. Just wham! Thing was on me. Never saw it. Like someone in your blind spot. Wish you would have taken it off. Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah. It's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly. Like it's asleep. <sighs> so when we get this guy, what do you think? We figure out who he is why he's doing this we can rescue Clem but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop so did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us I do love that like Omid and the lady are not doing anything like they're just Kenny is like single-handedly trying to break this fucking wall while they're just sitting and yucking it up dude yapping is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit and you know whatever happens to you uh <laughs> Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I wonder if Omi would say he's Persian. Wait, what? I no, I want us to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively... No, honestly, to. honestly, she would be better. I think she'd be better than Kenny. I think she'd be better than Kenny. Bro, they're fucking... It's a two-parent household, chat. The fuck do you mean? She's already pregante. She got the maternal instincts. Two-parent household. Have you guys never listened to Ben Shapiro? We don't want a one-parent household, okay? If I left her with Kenny, Kenny would swap her for a boat. Kenny literally would walk up as a Florida man, by the way. Yeah, Florida man, already a big L. He would walk up to anyone with a boat and be like, you want a child slave? And would give her up for the fucking first boat that I'm he could get. This right now. Krista, listen to him. 
It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. He did nothing, bro. That hole is Shouldn't ass. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Yeah, Kenny has also demonstrated that he doesn't know how to take care of a family, bro. He this already fucking killed his family. Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kenny. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder. I didn't realize we, we got the you and me both episode died. five was well, the gay episode. The hell's geez. going on here? Talking about our fucking feelings and whatnot. Might as well get a little loosey goosey. She can't have a. She's fucking Pregante, bro. Oh! Fetal alcohol syndrome. All right. Bruh. Bruh. Fetal alcohol syndrome. That's another duck waiting to happen right there. Okay. That's another duck waiting to fucking happen, bro. She's about to give birth to another duck. Thank God Cle they can have Clementine now. She I'm just through. went. No walkers. Things are looking up. Omid is the goat, bro. Omid is so much stronger than Kenneth from Kenold. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well. Oh, that's terrifying. That's so sad. Smart. Think of all the people we've seen go. They got to do it their own way. Together. Don't you say that. You stick it out as long as you can. You do whatever you have to. I could have done more. You did everything you could. No, Lee. I could have been a better husband. Better father. Could have been a better friend. So let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee. Great time to say that a song by the wife who killed herself. Oh shit, I forgot. I forgot Katja took her own fucking life. But honestly, I mean, I was mad about her taking her own life from a purely selfish standpoint. Like I literally was thinking that it's fucked up because we need a vet. We need like a doctor in the team. You know what Figure I mean? Figure out where we're headed. Like I didn't give a shit. I didn't give a shit about her like pain okay? and sadness. Yeah. Let's keep at it. Bro, that's why I'm f brother. That was the team healer, okay? That's why I'm fucking community leader. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. I'm literally making the right choices you guys are not willing to make. Talk to Kenny five or six times for an Easter egg. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. 
Really? Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Is Don't ask me how I'm doing. Randy oh. Tudor. Good man. Damn fine man. Powerful stash. One of the greats. What? What the fuck was that? Randy Tudor is a developer at Telltale? Damn, Nothing self insert. Other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. A dev's ego jizzed on you? Dude, whatever, dude. I'll, I'll fucking... I'll get jizzed on by the dev. Oh, here we go. Another parkour mission. I'm so good at parkour. Omid is definitely not making it through. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Kennel, Kennel is not making it through. One of them's got to fall, bro. Let's keep going. Be careful nope. up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? Ben would have fell here if you saved him. It's good to be moving. You're doing good. I'm not, but I'm trying, man. What happened? Honestly, you know how many nights Fuck, Ben and I laid in that broke down RV? And she'd give me hell for not thinking enough about the rest of you. All of them. Every damn night. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Yo. Be careful cross here. Dude, why, why am I looking down, bro? Come on. I hate this. Don't look down. River Street's just up ahead. Ben had the cure? No, he didn't. Darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. I don't see any down there. Bro, I swear to God, Ben would have the cure to, to, to the zomber virus in his hand and he'd break the fucking vial and be like, oh, don't get mad at me, man. I did the best I could. Like, that's what he would do. I swear to God. He'd be like, oh, I found the cure. Psh, break it. I'm serious. He fucking sucks. You can hear him, right? We're all desensitized to it, but I can still smell them. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <clears throat> Oh, fuck. Well? I'm so sorry. We have to get it back. That's our lifeline to her. But we can find this guy without it. And what if we don't? We need every clue that comes out of it. Lee's right. I am so fucking sorry. It's fine. We just need to figure out who's going down there. Ben is a no, kick watcher, one hundo P. Krista! Oh, Jesus we let the Pregante go in. I got it. Get me up. Fuck. We can't reach. Find something. Fast. Fast would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. That thing? Nope. Would that work? Grab onto this. We'll pull you up. Good. Thanks. Oh my god, I'm so strong, bro. I'm so oh, fuck. Uh-oh. 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 Zumbo. Zum Zambonis? Oh, no. Oh, no. Shit, they're in there! Oh, no. It's the Zomber special, bro. It's the Zomber special. Fuck! Jump up here, baby. Let's go. Jump. <sighs> Bro, hold fucking Me one of the fucking mouth. Ken, <sighs> what are you doing? Uh, get her, Ken. Can't sit all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach. <sighs> uh, gotcha, hun. Save her. Go, go, go. Can you fucking hear me? Oh no. Oh no. What the fuck's Kendall doing? What is Kennel doing, bro? 
Oh my god, it's <sighs> Kenneth Copeland. Oh my god, it's Kenneth Get Copeland. Kenny. Where are you? Canaldo. There ain't no way. There ain't no way, bro. There ain't no way he RIP Get the himself. Fuck off me! He's RIPing himself. No! We can't go no. after him. Where, where'd he go? He's dead. Maybe he's not. He went down there for you. I know he did. He. Bro, that's crazy. Ken Aldino, that's crazy. Ken Aldo, he did it. He did the damn thing. Cristiano Canaldo, number one. I bet there's boats in heaven, chat. Marshall Hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. Well, it gets an hour moratorium at least. I understand. This is a shitty time, but I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny gone means I don't know if I don't know if Kenny actually died, bro. There was like a very unceremonious death almost. Also, Krista is chirping, dude. I can't believe he ch she chirps like this when like Canaldo literally went down there and and sacrificed his life to save her Pregante ass and she's still like, "Uh, eh. well they all have sins." It's because she's like a radical Maoist and she's like he's a white man and therefore he's a America KKK ah uh, colonizer she don't Omid care and i have to stay safe for her you guys would be great for her keep her safe we do our best you know that we have to cross here well at least it doesn't look like a death trap is Omid a Shaw supporter? We don't know if he's like a Mossadegh guy. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. Decision what do you mean you're walking for two? I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. We know she's Pergante. I know she's Pergante. I'm just shocked that he knows. And he didn't fucking stop her from guzzling that whiskey. Also, that baby resettled in that booty when she fucking fell on her ass like that. I'm going to be honest. There's no baby no more at that point. Just go nice and slow. That baby coming out, not right. She's doing her very best to fucking abort the fetus. She's doing pro-choice shit, bro. She is not doing pro-life shit. She is doing aborto. Okay. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Yeah, yeah. So easy, bro. For sure. You spoke too soon, big guy. Oh, my God. Shit! Oh, fuck. Shit. Are you okay? Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you going to do? I'll figure something out. There's not a ton of options. What do you mean, bro? Can you help me? I don't know what we can do from here. Anything. It's fucked, Lee. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Wait, going why didn't he just cross? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? 
Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotel's around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way. Yeah, what do you mean he's going for it? What does that even mean? He's just going to jump down? That's crazy. Maybe they won't bite me because I'm already a zombo, right? They don't bite one another. What if we figure out that zombos don't bite other zomb? They don't bite one another. I'm one of them, bro. Zamboni. Bro, that makes no dang sense. That why would they hit me? Why would they hit me? It makes no dang sense to hit me, bro. Bro, these zombos got nothing on me, son. God damn, I'm just cooking their asses, bro. They lame as hell. They fucking slow as hell. But I swear, they're not even coming after me. They're not really coming after me at all, honestly. They're barely coming after me. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I, I'm sure they'll fucking cook my... Oh. oh my god, clean slice? Let's fucking go, baby. They're not that aggro. They're not as aggro as they would be if I was a human. Wait, the car? Oh my god, it's the car. It's the car you stole from? Excuse me. No, I didn't steal from them. Me and me and Clementine didn't steal from the fucking car. Everybody else did. That's crazy, bro. I never, I never stole in this game, okay? I never would advocate for stealing, especially not at the top of the hour when there's a three minute ad break. I would advocate for you to subscribe the legal way. That's looking real racial. Looking real racially motivated. Hello, welcome to the racism motel. We got Confederate generals in every god dang building. Who the fuck is I this guy? Joining rooms. Who the fuck are you? Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out. Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. What are my things, bro? I don't have anything. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Wait, he believed me? What a dumbass. I'm gonna fucking clap his ass, dude. I'm gonna go chop, chop, chopping on Do his you ass. Know who I am? Yeah. I know who you are. You saw my car. Out front, then. You see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. I did take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. 
Bro, that's crazy that this guy like held on to this vendetta for this long. It's like, bro, pick a different struggle. It's the zomber apocalypse, big dog. Really? Oh, wow. I'm going to do everything I can to like kill a little girl. The only little girl that didn't steal from you. Oh, let's have a little fucking prisoner experiment in the midst of all this like fucking stuff. asshole. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, bro, I killed my... Yes, of course. Who? A boy named Ben who was with us. Huh. I'm saying Ben, I fuck it. He was a good kid. I'm lying. I'm doing a lying run. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, you are a monster. Bro, you are a monster. Everything you've done since you're fucking... It's so funny. He's like, oh, I'm a monster because I lost my son. Hey, how about you're a monster for kidnapping my daughter? Okay, yes, I adopted Clementine. You guys know this already. You kidnapped an eight-year-old. You are a monster for different reasons, big dog. You are a serial killer. It looks like he is. He's got fucked up ass vibes, bro. Fucked up ass vibes. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back. And all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm sorry. I now shouldn't be apologizing. That the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found. Yeah, bro. She left because your vibes were horrendous. You have 60s hitchhiker, mass murderer, serial killer vibes. Okay. She literally was looking for an out, big dog. And that, and you gave her that out by losing your son. Okay. I don't even know how she fucked you twice. To have not one, but two children with you, you should not have repopulated. Because I'm willing to bet your son's just as fucked up as you two. A day later. In the road. Do I look like a monster to you? Yes. We all do. I'm just trying to reason Some with them. more than others. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I did what I had to. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. Wait, what? You weren't there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. Wait, what? I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! Dude, who the fuck are you, bro? You have a gun. You kidnapped her. Yo, this is literally like trying to reason with a stalker. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm having a conversation with this guy, but like deep down inside, I feel like I'm having a conversation with a gray name guy with a thousandth account who's like a stalker and just thinks I'm like a purely evil person and trying in real time to justify that narrative in his own head. It's like, bro, look at yourself. I want to hold him and I want to shake him and be like, look at yourself. You have a gun to my face. You kidnapped my fucking eight-year-old daughter. You literally put my entire group's lives in jeopardy. You didn't just, like, take an L with the loss of your stolen goods and just move on and, like, restart from the jump. And instead, you chose to blame everyone else around you instead of your own fucking failures. You're the reason why your wife and your daughter left and killed themselves because you fucking suck. Take some goddamn accountability, you stupid son of a bitch. How could you what a freak. This? I'm trying to reason with him, but he is an unreasonable person. You're a monster. 
You're a murderer and a thief, and I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Yeah, he's a serial killer. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself, because that's what will happen if she goes with you. Bro, what After the I fuck? Found Clementine on my radio. I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others, for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Our plan? Please listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. What? He wants to fuck her? I bet you don't even know how old she is. Bro, he wants to fuck her. I called it. He's a pedophile. Oh my god, I knew he was a pedophile. Oh my god, we have to kill this guy. I can't wait to turn into a zomber so I can fucking eat his ass, bro. Oh my god, fuck She's this eight. guy. Wrong. She's nine. But her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Oh my god, this guy's such a freak. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. Oh my Please. god, it's her head. Her I'm head. Too. Her head is in the fucking... Her head's in the basket. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> Wait, I have the knife, don't I? What the fuck? Where's the knife? Get it! <laughs> Bitch ass. Bitch ass. Yeah, choke his ass. Choke his ass. Oh, this is not a fucking playable QTE. Fuck, I can't beat this QTE. Oh, I'm trying my desperate best. Come on, baby. Choke his ass. I'm hitting the fucking Q so hard. Oh, it didn't work. Son of a bitch. Just oh, go you. Die. Clementine, the motherfucking goat. Goatmentine. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. I. 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 She popped him. Okay. That's right. Thank god it's we taught okay. her how to fucking use a uh, weapon. Holy shit. I... Second Amendment on top, baby. Second Amendment to protect the first, dude. You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. A good girl with a gun. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. <laughs> yeah, Kindergartians wasn't such a bad idea after all. Give the gun to her. So, you know, in the unforeseeable future, she might need to use it on me. You weren't afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. Bro, give her the gun. Dude, let's loot this fucker. Dude, fuck this guy. Oh, God, he made me so mad. I hate... God, he just, like... 
I, I guess it's good writing. It's a testament to good writing because like it really did remind me of talking and trying to reason with some of these fucking stalker ass motherfuckers that make my life miserable. Straight up. Oh my gosh, she's still alive. Jesus. How did he keep her alive? What Don't the? Look in there. No, I know. That's crazy. Which way out? Through there. <gasps> he didn't attack me. I'm zombified. No, that's the last it, bullet. It didn't bite you. Yeah, I know it. Must have. You're covered in all that gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. Oh, use the head. Keep the head with you. Maybe they won't attack if you have the head on you. Scoop. Oh God. Yeah, put that here. Here's a new. Here's a. Here's a new collar for you. Here, have fun. Wrap this around your neck, please. Oh, that's so nasty. We gotta do what we gotta do, Clem. Lather you up. We'll get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. <laughs> Little does he know, it's not because I think it's because I was bitten and not because I was covered in guts. Wanna be sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we gotta get it all on you. <laughs> There. That should do it. Gross. I hope so. I don't think it's gonna work, I though. Something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Don't look around. You safe. I think we need the walkie-talkie. We should have kept the walkie-talkie. Where is Omid and Krista? See, we gotta walk like we're zombos. And then it's all fine, you see? Except for that one zombo over there. That one looks sus. Damn, we think we're one of them. Look at this. Except for that big one. I feel like that one's gonna fuck with me. Nope. Oh my god, this sequence is crazy, bro. pass oh my god zombarinis bro oh my god is that his parents is that his fucking parents no shot is that her parents Don't. oh no he's turning bro i'm turning bro i'm turning bruh bruh Oh no, I'm turning. Oh my God. Am I turning right here? Oh my God, it's Turning Point USA. Oh my God. Oh my God, call me Charlie Kirk the way I'm turning points. Oh no. Wake up. Please don't be dead. Please no. Lee, 
I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. I knew it. I know. They didn't get to you, right? No. Well, we got away. They're dead for sure. Get out of here as fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, 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 that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Oh no, that that's not good. Open. I can't. Do it! Bro, look at my eyes. They're yellow. Okay? It's happening. It was only a little open when I, I found it. I need to tell it. Clementine. I closed it to keep us safe. Hold I need to tell. Three. One, two, three. I need to tell Clementine that I'm a zombo. I'm a zombo. I'm a zomboni. Oh my God, this is not good. See? Clementine, honey. I'm a zomber. I've been bit. What, what, what happened? No, 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 that's, that's not, no, 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 no. Yes, Clem, it is. I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. It's so heartbreaking. Holy shit. That guy looks like a Nazi. Good, good girl. Let's go. Uh, I might be a little slow. I'll help you. Oh God, this sucks. I need to get this gun. I need. Wait, does this zombie know how to use that thing? You think, Chat? Chat, am I cook? I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. You couldn't have known. I should have told you. It Nothing scary scarier than a tell. fucking zomber. Zomber yeah. with a gun. Keep going. We're almost there. He knows how to... A zombie that knows how to use that thing, dude? He's got that fucking thing on him. But don't worry. Get up, Lee. I always have that fucking right thing on me too. Bro, what is this QTE to get up? This is crazy. This is I craziness. Can't. You have to. Them, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please try to get up. He's right. She's right. Get up. Get up, Lee, you fucking coward. Get the fuck up, Lee. Come on, bro. Oh my god. I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You're gonna have to make sure I don't turn. You won't, though. Clem, I will. You know what you have to do. No. I can't. There's no way. You have to kill me. You have to kill me. You have to kill me, Clem, or else I'm going to eat you. Come on. It's not a fucking question. You're grounded. You're fucking grounded. You're grounded if you don't kill me. I swear to God. Just start by getting that door open. There's a zomber in there, isn't there? It's locked. It's no big deal. It's just a glass window. Ow. Not with your hand. Bro, she's demonstrating stupidity right now, which is odd because she was much smarter than this originally. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. She was much smarter. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch How's she gonna deal with the zombo? Grass. 
I don't even know how she's gonna deal with the zombo. Good job. Bro, he's right behind you. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. You're doing good. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Okay, open the fucking door, Clem. There's a chair over there. There's a chair over there. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. Oh my god. Oh my god. What if he gets up now? He's gonna be able to get up. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. There are handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. Handcuff me to the fucking wall so I can't run away. Let's go. Handcuff me to the radiator. You're doing really good. You Wait, you want to handcuff, handcuff the, walker? the walker? You can kill it easy then. Wait, handcuff me. I don't know, Lee. You can do it. Handcuff me Just and then get careful. the fuck away. What Move are we doing? The side and jump away if he gets close. Lee. You can do it. Bro, I'm literally using my last fucking moments on this planet as a human trying to describe this very easy process to her. Come on. Don't come back out here. Grab the fucking gun. What should I get first? The gun. The gun. The gun. The gun. The gun. Get the gun, Clem. Get the gun first. Get the gun and just shoot me. Get the gun and just pop me. Oh! Oh no! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh, drop it on his ass. Drop it on his ass. Watch out! Fall on him. Oh, it fell on me instead, bro. Bro, come on, come on, come on. Move, move, move. Pop his ass. Yes. More. More. More violence. Good Clem. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is tense for no reason, bro. One more for safety? That shit fell on me, dude. That's I crazy. I got him. Great, Clem. Good job. Now get the gun, get the keys, and fucking kill me and get the hell out of here. You know what you have to do. You're strong, Clem. You... You can do anything. But I'm little. Oh. Doesn't mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but... It's okay. My parents... Oh, my God. It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. <coughs> and now... You... Please... Oh, no. Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. Clem, I was 
standing over Doc holding that gun. It was so hard. I'm sorry you're in that position now. I'd give anything for you not to be. But okay, don't shoot me. Just leave then. That. Just just leave. But you're not going to leave. You have Close to shoot me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I I can. Find Omid and Krista. They're probably looking for us right now. Stay on high ground. Don't go too far. You'll find them. They'll take good care of you. I'm gonna throw up. And Clem. Stay away from the cities. Definitely. They're just not worth the risk. And also... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, come on, come on. Get the gat. Get the gat. Get the gat. Smoke me up. What? what to the is dome. It? Clean shot. No, don't worry. All right. Oh, it's you. Me too. Oh, that's so sad. That's so fucking sad, bro. Oof. Can't look. Oh! It's Joe over. That's cold blooded. That's cold blooded, Clam. You didn't have to do it like that. Damn, what a fucking game. Why did you make her shoot you? She's not gonna leave, dude. I'm not taking that risk. She's not gonna leave. If I don't make her shoot me, she's not gonna leave. And then she's gonna stay there, and I'm gonna turn, and I'm gonna fucking eat her. And then I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, the only part of that was that was like funny was when he said it was hard for me to shoot duck. Remove Lee's arm. You and 32% didn't remove your arm. Yeah, because you want to know why 32% didn't remove his arm. What a fucking sequence, by the way. People removed his arm because they thought that there was a chance. I knew that there was no chance. You and 46% lost your temper with Kenny. Disarmed. 70% kept your weapons. Stranger killed Calvin's captor. You and 10% didn't kill the stranger. Well, I didn't kill it. Clem did. But I don't know how I was supposed to kill him. Goodbye, stop Lee from turning. You and 95% of players made sure Lee didn't turn. Who the fuck is the 5% that literally let him turn, bro? Who in the ever-loving fuck? You defended his son in the drugstore. You talked him down from ignoring his son's fate. You killed his son so he didn't have to. He was lost to the herd trying to save Krista. You attempted to give her food at the motor inn. You found water for Duck when he didn't need it. Or when he needed it. Sorry. And she shot herself when faced with her son's death. You called him a racist. You tried to give him CPR. Larry died in the meat locker at the dairy. You chose to reveal your past to her. You left her on the side of the road. You were separated after you crossed the sign. You dropped Ben from the bell tower. That's the only thing they have on Ben. You saved her life at the cause of another. You agreed with her to tell others about your past. You defended her accusations. She was killed by Lily. You helped her get on the train. You revealed your bite to her. After getting separated, you told him to find you. You asked her and Omi to take care of Clementine. You were with him when you found your brother. He died when walkers attacked the drugstore. I mean, I didn't do much to save Doug. Let's be real. You helped save his life at Herschel's farm. You argued that he was not bitten back in Macon. You shot him before he could turn. You let him be your sidekick. Solve a mystery. Wait, it doesn't say high five. See, that wasn't that memorable. The high five was not that memorable. Wait for after the credits. You can't skip to the end, unfortunately. Ethical playthrough, ethical gaming, fuck ethics in gaming. We don't do ethics in video game journalism and we don't do ethics in gaming. Clementine, my dearest. Poor Clem. Bro, how is she by herself? Where the hell is Omid, bro? I, I know I couldn't have trusted Krista. But Omid? Omid, you failed me. I thought it was short king spring out here, dude. I 
I really did. Oh, was that them? There ain't no way. They don't look like walkers to me. What the fuck was that? Should we dive into season two immediately? I don't know, guys. Should we? Uno mas? Uno mas por favor? Hey, kids. Thanks for watching the Hasanabi official gaming channel.